Hello people, in this video we want to look at the features of cestodes. This can come as a question, you know, features of cestodes. So you should understand what cestodes are. These are uh, tapeworms, right? So basically, in Kingdom Animalia, you have helminths, right? Under helminths, you have platyhelminths and under platyhelminths, you have cestodes. Sometimes they are saying it is Kingdom Metazoa, okay, instead of um, animals. Kingdom Metazoa they are saying. So helminths under that you have a phylum platyhelminthus and phylum nema helminthus. Nemat, nemat helminthus. Okay. So basically you have two phylums here. Platyhelminthus and nemat helminthus. Under platyhelminthus you have cestodes and trematodes. Under nemat helminthus you have nematoda. Right? Class nematoda. So did you understand now? There are three groups you should know. Cestodes, trematodes and nematodes. Cestodes and trematodes come under platyhelminths and uh, nematodes come under nemathelminths. Okay. So basically what are these helminths? Helminths are, uh, they are multicellular, bilaterally symmetric animals having three GM layers, trifoblastic metazoa. Okay. So basically they are nothing but example this worm. What do you see in this worm? It is bilaterally symmetric, multicellular, right, trifoblastic, that is it has three germ layers, right? So they are all coming under helminths. Now how do you separate them as cestodes, trematodes and nematodes? So these platyhelminths, that is cestodes, right? Cestodes and trematodes, these are tape-like, dorsoventrally flattened worms. You can see they are flat. They lack elementary canal. They don't have elementary canal, okay? And um, the cestodes especially have don't have elementary canal. However, the trematodes have incomplete, the trematodes have incomplete elementary canal. Body cavity is absent in all of these uh, platyhelminths. Body cavity is absent. Viscera is suspended in gelatinous matrix. They are mostly hermaphrodites. That means monoecious. That means they can change into male or female. A true hermaphrodite will have both the parts, male and female parts. Okay, so what do you understand now? Generally about uh, uh, cestodes, first of all, what did you understand? It's bilaterally symmetric, multicellular, it is uh, trifoblastic, that is all about the helminths. Then you came, it's a worm, then you came to platyhelminths, that means it's flat, it is flattened, correct? Then you saw there is absent uh, elementary canal in the cestode. So we are concentrating only on cestodes, so absent elementary canal, body cavity is also absent, right? Body cavity is also absent. So let us focus only on the cestode because that is the whole point, right? So basically, they lack elementary canal, the cestodes lack elementary canal, body cavity is absent, they are mostly hermaphrodites, okay? Now coming to exact cestodes, what are their features? They are dorsoventrally, what is this? Flattened. They are dorsoventrally flattened. They have segmented bodies. You can actually very clearly see it in this diagram. They are dorsoventrally flattened. They are segmented. You can see so nicely they are segment, segment. Are you able to see or you want to zoom further? They are segmented. Can you see how neatly they are segmented? They are flattened dorsoventrally and they are segmented. They don't possess elementary canal, this you already know. The head carries suckers, so the head has what? Suckers and uh, they have hooks. Some of them have hooks, not all of them, but some of them have hooks. They possess scolex, neck and proglottids. They have what in all? Scolex, neck and proglottids. They are monoecious, they are hermaphrodites, their body cavity is absent, you already know this. So what in all they have? They have scolex, neck and proglottids. The head carries suckers, hooks, they are oviparous. Oviparous means they lay eggs, correct? Just look at this uh, diagram for tenia, that is uh, tenia saginata, tenia solium. You can see they have suckers here. They have hooklets. Tenia solium has hooklets. Not all of them have hooklets. Some of them can have hooklets. Suckers, everybody will have. So suckers, they have hooklets, tenia solium has, okay? Then what else they said? There is colex, correct? See, this one is echinococcus. See, in Echinococcus, you can see the scolex. All these are cestodes. See, scolex, okay. Hooklets are also there in Echinococcus. So, they are tape-like. They are tape-like. They are dorsoventrally flattened. 
they have segmented bodies they don't possess elementary canal the head has suckers and some can have hooks scolex neck proglottids they have body cavity is absent oviparous did you see a neck did you see a neck here kind of a neck is there right here in a kind of corpus very clearly you can see a neck even in this uh, tapeworm you can actually see a neck right so basically the head okay is called a scolex it's the anterior end of tapeworm the head itself is scolex you can see it bears the suckers and sometimes it can have hooks for attachment there can be neck and proglottids means segment which has the sexually mature reproductive system so you understood right it is segmented so there can be segments which have the sexually mature reproductive system that is proglottids okay so moving on guys you have understood uh, how they look don't you so you have understood the features right of cestodes we are going to the examples now examples uh, you write uh, tenia saginata tenia solium actually tenia saginata is pope tapeworm tenia solium is beef tapeworm remember that uh, tenia saginata has the suckers tenia solium extra it has the hooklets okay so tenia solium is the beef tapeworm and tenia saginata is the pork tapeworm okay so all these are cestodes then you have somatic tissue test uh, hymenolepis is also an example of intestinal cestode so cestodes you have intestinal and uh, somatic guys so here whatever you are seeing these are intestinal cestodes here whatever you are seeing seeing these are tissue cestodes intestinal cestodes a main you can remember tenia saginata tenia solium hymenolepis if you want you can remember diphyllobothrium if you want you can remember coming to these uh, Uh, tissue cestodes you have uh, tenia solium itself can be there in the tissues and cause cysticercosis echinococcus uh, is a uh, dog tapeworm it can cause hydatid disease okay so hope you have understood the examples of uh, cestodes our focus is on cestodes if you want you can look at trematodes nematodes trematodes actually are called as flukes like liver fluke okay fasciola hepatica that is trematode it's actually a fluke nematode like roundworm like ascaris hookworm all those come here okay lot of examples are there for nematodes our focus today is what just cestodes so remember tenia saginata tenia solium so these are all tapeworms if they say flukes these are flukes trematodes are flukes okay if they say tapeworm then they'll be cestodes so this is echinococcus granulosus which causes uh, hydatid uh, disease right the hydatid cyst which has the larva inside this causes the hydatid disease now let us look at a table uh, explaining the differences between cestodes trematodes and nematodes quickly we will look at this cestodes are tape like segmented they have suckers some of them have hooks uh, elementary canal is absent body cavity is absent the it's a hermaphrodite so the sex are not separate in the life cycle you will see that two hosts are required except for hymenolepis and diphyllobothrium so remember for tenia solium tenia saginata requires two hosts that's why it has called as it's called as beef tapeworm pork tapeworm easy right it will be there in the uh, pig and it will be there in the cow so it's beef tapeworm pork tapeworm so the it infects man so two hosts you can very clearly understand right so guys uh, this much only we wanted to cover in the features of cestodes so examples of cestodes are also covered so if they ask features of cestodes remember to write uh, from helminths okay the features of helminths features of platyhelminths features of cestodes examples of cestodes etc okay habitat of cestodes some of them are intestinal some of them are uh, <clears throat> as tissue cestodes if you want you can draw diagrams of the hooklets the suckers the scolex the neck the segments also okay that's all for now we'll meet in the next video bye bye